So falling objects are affected by air resistance. So Michael, how do you think that air resistance affects these objects as they fall through the air? As we know, falling objects accelerate, so they will fall faster and faster. Air resistance is usually negligible when the objects are falling slowly, but as they fall faster and faster, air resistance has a more important effect. This resistance is provided by the air particles hitting the object as it falls at high speed, and they reduce its acceleration. Wow! So is it possible for falling objects to stop accelerating? Absolutely. When this happens, we say an object has reached terminal velocity. That's when the object's falling at its maximum speed. And I know this happens because years ago I actually went skydiving and when you jump out of the aircraft you feel this horrible acceleration and then it slows down when you reach the terminal velocity over 100 kilometres an hour and you no longer feel the acceleration. So what's happening? The upwards air resistance at that point provided by the particles of air hitting the object is equal to the force down due to gravity pulling the object down. And we all know that when forces are balanced, there's no acceleration, so an object continues to fall at a constant speed. So, what are some of the factors that affect air resistance and how do they relate together? So the factors affecting the air resistance are the object's speed, its cross-sectional area, its shape and the density of the air. To keep it simple, we can say that the two most common factors determining air resistance are the speed of the object and the cross-sectional area of the object. Increased speed results in more air resistance and increased cross-sectional area results in more air resistance. But be careful here. Unlike the force due to gravity, the air resistance force doesn't depend on the mass of the object, only its area and its speed.